Okay, this is the third video in the series on Hollow Earth, Mercator's map and Mount Maru. In my first video, I talked about talked about the uh, this Mercator map uh, and Mount Maru. That's I've come to the conclusion that Magnetic Rock is Mount Maru. Okay, and you got the four continents around it. In my second video, I came to a put forward a conclusion that Avalon, um, the legendary island of Avalon that's mentioned in the King Arthur legends, um, is located at the North Pole and it's one of the continents that's on the Mercator map. In this video I'm going to put forward evidence that King Arthur was indeed at the North Pole and it's all documented in this letter from Mercator to John Dean. And Mercator was the is the name of the chap who uh, created the map of the North Pole from uh, the 1500s. And John D is John D was a, um, a consultant to Queen Elizabeth. Okay. And Gerardus Mercator, he's the guy who made this map. He made this map. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the link to this uh, letter here on, on my description of the YouTube video. Uh, I'm not going to read it out, but it basically talks about um, King Arthur g going up to Iceland uh, with about 12 ships and uh, he makes his way further north. Uh, he sends a lot of his ships further north, they go into the indrawing seas, uh, some of them uh, get slammed on the rocks and some of them uh, make it back and tell them not to proceed any further but he decides, um, he decides to, uh, well they tell him about the magnetic rock and uh, he decides to, um, he, he, his sailors tell him that the iron um, nails in the ships have been attracted to the magnetic rock so he sends ships up there with uh, non-iron uh, nails in them and, uh, and from what we can tell in this, this letter that the ships make it to the North Pole okay so here's further evidence that King Arthur was indeed up in the North Pole. Uh, unless you go looking for this information, you wouldn't know it's there. Uh, uh, so it's quite obvious um, that uh, Avalon is located at North Pole, as per my part two video series. And uh, what's interesting in uh, in this all this information is the um, John D makes references to Atlantis being there. So this is. I'm going to talk about Atlantis. Okay, it was put for, um, I was putting a collage together of all the images I could find of Mount Maru and I came across uh, this. Um, it's a step pyramid in Java. And it's called Borobudur. Um, now, what's interesting? What's interesting about this depiction? This is, represents Mount Maru. And quite often you see these these square outlines around Mount Maru, but this is probably one of the first times I've seen it with rings around it. And uh, when I saw this, I was wondering whether this could possibly be Atlantis as well. And um, anyway, I found evidence that it is. So let's get to that. Now, here's a typical image depiction of what Atlantis apparently looks like okay I'm always bombarded with this sort of image and I thought I've been thinking well what if this image isn't 100% right what if there was a mountain in the middle that would make perfect sense okay now, one of my subscribers had asked if I'd seen this uh, YouTube video, Lazaria Map Collection, and I, I have seen it before, and I decided to watch it again after receiving a comment on one of my videos, had, had I seen it or not. So anyway, I watched it, and towards the very end of the video, they put forward a map of 
Atlantis. It's a very old map. Okay, and here's the map uh, from the Lazaria map collection YouTube video. And you'll see if I zoom zoom in, you've got these labels Africa and uh, what's it say? I can't even read that. And over here we've got America. Okay, so this is obviously being added. So just let's just cross all this out. This is completely wrong, right? It's all wrong. Now let's study the detail. Okay, we've got rivers going in here. We've got a mountain in the middle. Okay, so we've got what appears to be one, two, three, four, five rivers. And in particular, this one seems to be leading to the mountain. This one leads to be leading to the mountain. This one leading to the mountain. This one leading to the mountain. Okay. What well, that's very similar to the Mercator map. Okay, and that's pretty much what they're presenting in the Lazaria map uh, collection YouTube video. And what he's also telling us in that video, this this is Hud the Hudson Bay in Canada. All right. So this is. This image here, this could be placed at numerous places. I can understand why they've come up with these labels because it's various, there's a couple of similar places on the planet that look similar to this, but once you tie this in with that, you can place this all at the North Pole, okay? Hudson Bay, Canada, North Pole. Simple as that. This is, this mountain here is Mount Maru. A magnetic rock that the whirlpool goes around in. Plain and simple, it's so obvious, it's just unbelievable. Um, so you've got to ask yourself, how old is this map? This map must be 10,000 plus years old because the, the continents aren't shown as being separated. And certain, there's certainly no rings around it. Um, so obviously the rings have been added at a later date, but um, so presumably, you know, we, we, we've got different timelines, different cultures visiting this, this parts of the, uh, of the planet and you've got different depictions of things, so so you compare the Atlantis map to the Mercator map. Okay, so in the Atlantis map all these continents are all one, but you've got the mountain in the middle, so... Yeah, obviously it's not identical, but uh, the similarities are all there. And there you've got, over here you've got the Hudson Bay. Uh, and it's, it's very well documented in that Lazaria map collection video uh, and you've got these islands over here so presumably these that was joined at one point and just for something a little bit different check out this this is another map it's a Burmese map I'll zoom in as close as I can now you think this is the whirlpool with Mount Maru and you got the four Incoming rivers, the tree of life at the top. Here's another, another map, I'll try and zoom in. Um, yeah, so we've got mountain ranges here. Oh, here it is. This is your Mount Maru, and you've got these incoming rivers here, okay? Incoming rivers here, it's very similar to the Atlantis map. Um, I just wish I could read the text on this. I think it's a... Notice you've got the uh, Tree of Life up here, and I'm not really sure what this is, but... Uh, not very interesting map. You've got all these world cultures with these maps. I'd love to know what this is.